guys, welcome back to the Autistic Journal. I'm here doing a new video on anxiety part two. Let's get to it. So, if you hear the chainsaw in the background or that noise in the background, that's just my dad cutting wood. But anyways, let's get started. So anyways, right now it's around five, four or five days maybe-ish before school starts back up for winter break. And basically, I'm nervous about it because I don't know why actually, but I have, anyways, like, I'm ner I like, I'm always nervous, like, school makes me nervous, but I think it's, like, it's weird, because I'm nervous, and it's not even close to school yet, it's like four days before school starts back up, and I'm nervous about it, so it's kind of odd that anxiety does that, but, uh, also, I would be nervous and not know what I'm nervous about if you, like, like, basically, if you have, if you know anybody with anxiety, um, you they can be nervous and not know what they're nervous about also they can be nervous and when you say well there's nothing to be nervous about that makes people like with anxiety mad in that moment because like we know there's nothing to be nervous about but we're just nervous like it's not like it's not like we're wanting to do this and stuff like that so that's kind of a problem with people they say there's nothing to be nervous about or like it's okay or like but to our in our minds it's not okay like it but it, it feels like the world's ending and like like the world is shattering into a million pieces or we're getting hit by a nuclear bomb or like it just feels terrible and basically it's not like a, it's not like it's like i don't even know how to explain it really but that's all i can say but then also like I've been, at school, I've been doing this thing called the Hexaflex, and I'm going to tell you this because I think some people that you know, or if you have anxiety, um, you should know this. So, first step is, and the Hexaflex is made up of what? six steps at the hexagon, and basically what you do is you use each of those steps, and then when you're done, you start to calm down. Not always, but you sometimes do some of the steps multiple times. And you start to calm down. So the first step is present moment. What's going on in this moment? Like, let's see. So right now I hear the chainsaw ring, and right now I hear my voice talking. And maybe like you kind of use your senses of like what's happening. So you can say, what do you see? I see the camera and you guys. And uh, what do you hear? The chainsaw. If you guys can hear, I don't know what. Whatever you hear. And uh, next I hear. Just like the sound of like, just the sound of the ca cabin kind of echo, ink, like when I talk. Also, then what do I see? I see, or I did that already. Uh, what do you taste? I don't really taste anything. Anything? Um, taste. Like you go through all five senses. What do you feel? What do you see? Blah, 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 blah. You go through that for present moment. Then what you do is next you go to committed, no, I think it's committed action, right? No, no, it's values. Okay, so you go to values next. And values is what do you value right now? What's your value? Like, right now, my value is talking to you guys. And that could, and your value could be watching me or watching another YouTuber or watching, playing a game. Or maybe if you're doing this at like a friend's house, maybe if you just like are kind of getting tired or something. Like, or when you, let's say you want to go to your friend's house, your value is going to your friend's house. or. Let's say you want to, like, your value, you know, like, what you want. And then, the next part is commit action. What are you going to do to get to that? How are you going to get to that? So, let's say you want to go to your friend's house. You're going to, like, like, just ask, I guess. Like, um, that's a kind of harder one. But, let's say for me, my value is, uh, make a YouTube video. I got to get my phone out, get the camera ready, and think of a video idea. And maybe like do some stuff like that, get self ready, and like that's how I'm gonna commit it. Out. Like, that's how I'm gonna get to making a video. And then, or if I'm nervous, let's say I'm nervous, and I want to, let's say my value is, like let's say my value is going to school, but I'm nervous about it. What I do is, how do I get there? How, what am I gonna do? What's my committed action? Which is going to be like. What's one? Like, my committed action could be, like, maybe, like, uh, using, 
using the Hexaflex to get to school so I can hang out with my friends and have and hang out with my teachers. Then what I do is, then the next step is self-context. And then self-context means, are you the real, real you and not real you? What that means is, like, real you? Well, what are you usually like? Happy? Like excited or energetic or stuff like that. And then like, not real you is like nervous or mad. And you can use this if you're mad too, this hexaflex idea. Um, you can use this for autism, that's what they usually use it for there, but they're using it for me for anxiety because it works too. And you can, like, real you is happy, energetic, or let's say me, happy, like, creative, and, like, fu having fun, and, like, I don't know, but no, not real me could be mad, or, like, nervous, stuff like that, you know, sad, you know, stuff like that, not real me. And then, uh, next one is diffusion. Diffusion, I'm guessing you guys know what that is, but I'm just going to explain it. Diffusing. Uh, separating you from your bad thoughts. So what you're going to do is, like, what's the calling strategy do you know? Like, a, do you know deep breaths? Do you know? Uh, some of the teachers, some of the kids in my school, like, the, like I'm not going to do these things when I'm a little bit older. I'm 13, but some of the kids in my school do it because they like it better. But, like, hug yourself if you like that. Um, there's another one called Pop the Bubble. And basically, what you do is you... You can actually get bubbles or you can just do it like in your head and like kind of like imagine bubbles but basically what you do is you put your bad thought in the bubble put your bad thought in the bubble and pop it and that's what some of the kids like there um where people some, some people are like closer to my age like it there um but then uh there's another one for deep breaths that works pretty good mountains and valleys which i like so you up up the mountain breathe up Breathe in and then down the mountain, you breathe out. Up, down. And that's a pretty good one. I like that one because it's kind of like gives you like, and you're gonna wanna go slower, not like up, down, up, down, up, down. You wanna go pretty slow and steady, but be the turtle. If, I don't know, just turtle and rabbit. I don't know. Anyways, ha, uh, but yeah. So we got that one. And then we got, what's the next one? Uh, and then the next one is acceptance. Now, not you don't always have to use this step, but I sometimes use it. But basically, like let's say someone's making you mad, and you just have to accept it. So, it, acceptance is understand what you can't control. And basically, what you do is, if you so when you get after diffusion, you have to accept that that person is making you mad, and you can't control them. So then that's that. But that's the hexaflex. If you guys wanted to use that, it's very good uh, tactic to use. Uh, but yeah, um, it's been a, a crazy journey through all this anxiety stuff, and I just think I should tell you guys and bring you along. So I was just telling you this stuff, and uh, anyways, but yeah, uh, I don't know. Um, that's all I gotta say. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one. See ya.